Hello and welcome to today's online seminar guys. How are you doing guys? Hello Himanshu. Hello Mrigang, Sahit, Himanshu. Hello Ajay. Hello Vamsidhar. Hello Rohan. Hello Gunjan. How are you guys? All right, uh, I am fine, Swaminathan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Rohit. All right, guys. All ready for today's online seminar? I am fine, Preeti. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, guys, before we start, I want to know how many of you have already started your GRE preparation. Guys, how many of you have already started your GRE preparation? Siddharth has already started. That's great. Guys, uh, here's a question on your screen. Have you started your GRE preparation? I want all of you to answer this poll question. Guys, answer this poll question so we would be able to understand your current level of preparation better. All right. Not yet started. Just started. Middle of my preparation. Almost completed. Completed. Which state are you in? Or are you already in Stanford? Rohit says just started. All right, how about the rest of you guys? Just started, says Ronak. Ashutosh says he is new to this webinar. Ramna says quant started but bubble not yet started. All right guys, now that you guys have answered this question, uh, uh, we'll be able to understand your current level of preparation better. Uh, we'll have an expert uh, talk about uh, all these topics. All right. Uh, guys, today we are going to talk about how how to prepare effectively for the GRE. All right. Some of you some of you have started preparing a year before and some of you could be slogging. All right, so what's the right way? What's the most effective, effective way of preparing for the GRE? Let's find out today. All right, first let me introduce myself to you. Uh, I'm Mani Kumar. I'll be the coordinator for today's online seminar. I'll be organizing, uh, organizing the seminar, guys. Guys, this will be an activity-based seminar. We'll be having a few activities going on simultaneously. All right, there are a few goodies to grab for each activity. Keep an eye on those. You blink and you miss. All right. Am I clear till now, guys? All right. So, guys, how many of you have a Facebook account? Guys, how many of you have a Facebook account? All right, I am sure almost all of you have got one. Gunjan has a Facebook account. Saikiran has. All right. All right, guys, we'll start the seminar soon, but before we do, uh, I've sent you a link of GREH Facebook page. I've sent you a link of GREH Facebook page. You can click on the link and log on to GREH Facebook page. As I told you, 
we'll be having a few activities going on simultaneously. So you can log on to the or log on to GRE's Facebook page. I've sent you a link, guys. Have you all got the link guys? Have you all logged on to GRH Facebook page? Yes, says Kostub. All right guys, just out of curiosity, uh, where are you attending the seminar from? Hostel, home or are you traveling? Where are you attending the seminar from? Rohit says home. Shravan is attending from home. Jagdish is attending from room. Rohan is attending from hostel. Swaminathan is attending from his lab. All right. So guys, have you all invited your friends to the online seminar? Have you all invited your friends to the online seminar? Anurag, Ajay, Vikal, Paul say yes. They've invited. They've already invited their friends. How about the rest of you guys? Deepthi has also invited. All right, guys. That good. That's good to know. Guys, now that you have, uh, you guys have opened GRE's Facebook page. What you can do is you can share the latest post on our page. The post that says I am attending join me. You can share the latest post that says I am attending join me. I have already sent you a link. You can, log, you can log on to that link and you can share that post with your friends. You can even like or comment on that post. You can even tag your friends guys. You can tag your friends on the picture so that your friends will also know what you are currently doing. Yashwant is attending from the hostel. Yashwant, you can call all of your friends to attend the seminar with you guys. All right, guys. So, have you shared? Have you shared with your friends? Have you told your friends about this online seminar? Yes, Anurag has already done it. Anurag is prompt. All right, Rohan is excited about the seminar. All right, guys. We have our very own ex uh, GRE expert, Mr. Abhishek Ramachandran, sitting with us here. He's eagerly waiting to guide you guys on how to prepare effectively for the GRE. All right, guys. Uh, let me uh, let me t tell something uh, about uh, Mr. Abhishek. Uh, Abhishek has helped thousands of students over the years with their GRE preparation. All right, uh, thousands of students have uh, have uh, sought Abhishek's help in GRE preparation. Today he is going to talk to you. Uh, without much ado, I'll let me introduce him, him to you, all of you guys. Uh, hello Abhishek, how are you doing today? Hi Mani, I am doing great. Hi Mani, I am doing great. How are you? I am fine, I am fine Abhishek. Uh, students are really waiting for you to talk. Uh, uh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, good evening, Shravan Kumar. So thanks a lot, Mani, for the for the brilliant introduction. I, I really felt great, and I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, present today's online seminar. I can see that all of them are very interactive. And uh, good evening, Kostav. Good evening, Rohit. Very interactive, and I I'm, I'm already getting a lot of doubts. Guys, today's online seminar, this one hour is going to be one of the most interactive one hour. Okay, one of the most exciting and one of the most important one hour in your GRE preparation. Okay, uh, now guys, before we begin, as as Mani told, um, you can always invite your friends using Facebook. Just tag your, you can just tag your friends. Uh, you can just comment, tag your friends, and also share it with your friends. Guys, uh, tell me what are your expectations from today's online seminar. You you can comment in the Facebook page itself. 
let me see what are the expectations from today's online seminar okay you can uh, type it as a comment in the facebook page so that even your friends would be able to uh, view it and they'll be able to attend it how to score 325 plus say sir hey, what about the others pasa wants verbal preparation tips how to prepare for gre in a short time tips to take me forward in my journey says rohit what about the others what are your expectations from today's online seminar parak wants to know how to get into his dream university all right fair enough what about the others guys what kind of, what information are you looking forward to in today's online seminar what are your expectations so guys everyone can can uh, participate ladder to up top score in gre says rohan in in the facebook page any more 330 to 335 says rona he wants to score 330 to 335 okay guys before we uh, begin uh, tell me how many of you have decided uh, which admissions are you planning to go for which admissions are you planning to go for fall 2014 spring 2014 and not yet decided if you want to do your masters but you have not exactly decided when to do it sahit says fall 2014 siddharth says fall 2014 says pura vamsidhar says uh, spring 2014 all right uh, good evening divya What about the others? Which admissions are you going to uh, go for? Are planning to go for? Guys, I would like everyone to participate in this online seminar. Money promised me that all of them are very interactive and they have a lot of doubts. Is it dinner time already, guys? Where's the energy? Okay, Ronak wants to go for spring 2014. I I see that only around 60% of you have voted what about the others guys which admissions are you planning to go for what about your friends okay so 55% of you guys have decided that you are planning to go for fall 2014 22% for uh, spring 2014 and uh, 23% have not yet decided on when exactly to uh, when exactly to which admissions to go for all right no problem okay so shall we begin guys today's online seminar shall we start today's online seminar gre how to prepare effectively now how to prepare effectively a lot of things are involved in that a lot of steps are involved and most of you told that you have already started your gre preparation but before that let's get a clear picture about gre what is gre gre is also known as graduate record examination okay it's an online adaptive test to pursue your masters in the us okay now how many of you are planning to do your ms or phd in the united states US Canada Germany how many of you are planning to do your ms or phd rohit is planning to do his ms kishan is planning to do his ms titi ms gunjan phd vishal is planning to do his ms ms and phd says ajay kumar what about the others okay we getting a lot of students who would like to do their ms okay now how many of you would like to do your mba abroad How many of you would like to do your MBA? Sahith, Kiran wants to do his MBA. Kiran Kumar, okay, we have two Kirans, and both of them want to do their MBA. Okay, well, guys, 
most of the universities they have started accepting GRE scores for MBA admissions. All right, so you don't have to uh, you don't have to prepare for two separate exams or different exams because you can write your GRE itself. Okay, for all of you who like to do your MS, PhD, and MBA, well, GRE is the exam for you. How many of you are happy hearing that? I know Sahid is definitely happy hearing that. <laughs> well, guys, the exam measures the scholastic potential of the candidate and not the subject knowledge. Okay, it tests your scholastic potential. It tests if you are fit to do your MS, if you are fit to complete your MS in that particular university. Okay, now the exam evaluates applicants from different backgrounds in a common yardstick. It does not test your subject knowledge. Okay, it does not test your subject knowledge. It does. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are studying in IIT or VIT or VITS, any university. It does not. It doesn't matter. Okay, it evaluates applicants from different backgrounds in a common yardstick. It tests. It just tests your verbal and quant skills. Okay. It does not test your biotechnology or microbiology skills, guys. So you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Ajay Kumar is happy. What about the others, guys? You can you can type in your doubts. All right, you can type in your doubts using the chat box. Okay, that would be the medium through which we would be communicating. Okay, you can just type in and I'll directly reply to your doubts. Okay, uh, for all of you who are there in Facebook, well, you can just type in your doubts on the Facebook page. Okay, and money will reply to your doubts. So, are we clear, guys? Are we clear about what GRE is? Any doubts? Okay, now what is the importance of GRE? We know what GRE is, correct? How important is GRE? Well, guys, the first thing is, if you write your GRE, if you get a good score in GRE, it can open to some of the, it, it opens doors of some of the top US universities. Okay, you can get admissions, you can get admits to some of the top US universities, from some of the top US universities. And not only that, how many of you don't want to spend your daddy's money for your masters? How many of you don't want to spend your daddy's money? Rohit, Anurag, Pritam, Rohan, Kiran, Deepthi. <laughs> Ajay Kumar first in the queue. What about the others guys? How many of you don't want to spend your daddy's money for masters? Okay, well, guys, for all of you who don't want to spend your daddy's money, well, GRE is the exam for you. Okay, because if you get a high GRE score, it drastically increases your chances for financial aid. All right, so you don't have to spend your daddy's money. All right, colleges they give a number of scholarships, but they are given to few students who have very high GRE scores. Okay, and only that GRE also helps in obtaining a visa. Okay, because it indicates your keenness in pursuing higher studies, so it it helps in obtaining a visa also. Now these are these are the uh, these are the few important points or uh, the importance of GRE. Okay, it basically helps in your admissions, your visa, okay, and finance. Now when is the exam conducted? Well, guys, you don't have to wait. For one day in a year, you don't have to wait for one particular day because your exam is conducted throughout the year. Your exam is conducted throughout the year except on Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays. All right, and your exam is valid for up to five years. So if you write your exam, your scores will be valid for up to five years. Okay, so you don't have to. Um, <laughs> Prakash does not want to spend at all. All right. Well, your exam is valid up to five years. So if you write your exam, you can you can apply within five years. But as an advisor, I would suggest you to apply by two years itself. Okay. Are we clear?
Any doubts guys? Shall we move forward? Uh, yes, Ronak, it is necessary to have a good percentage if you are applying to a really top. I'll be explaining it, guys. As we move forward, I'll actually be explaining it. Okay? Okay. Now, what are the main benefits of, of taking the exam? What are the main, main benefits of taking the exam? The first thing is that you get more options after graduation. Okay, you get more options after graduation. And not only that, you also get more courses. Colleges, uh, courses right from structural engineering to uh, microbiology, they accept GRE's course for admissions. And not only that, you also get access to better colleges. Okay, access to better colleges. Guys, tell me, how many IITs are there in India? How many IITs are there in India? 12, 14. <laughs> 7, okay. Now, why is an IIT famous? I can see few of you are also from IITs. Quality. Okay. But guys, are you telling me that there are only around 10 to 12 high quality colleges in, in India? But in the United States, there are more than 200 to 300 colleges which are of the same quality of IITs. So tell me, would you want to apply in a place where there are only 10 to 15 colleges or would you want to apply in a place where there are more than 200 to 300 colleges. Where, where would you apply? Where would you prefer to apply? USA says Rohan. 200 to 300 says Yashwant. It's a pretty obvious choice says Mayuresh. Obviously USA says Santosh. <laughs> exactly and not only that another benefit is that another benefit is that you don't have to spend your daddy's money your daddy's mommy's money okay because it drastically increases your chances for financial aid all right now how many of you are clear about the GRE pattern how many of you are totally aware of the GRE pattern Pritam is aware Okay, I'll tell you. Guys, the total duration of the exam is four and a half hours. Now, this includes your breaks. Okay. Now, there are six sections, two quant section, two verbal sections, one analytical writing section, and an experimental section. Okay. Now, your quant section, you would get 20 questions in 35 minutes per section. In verbal, again, you would get 20 questions, but only 30 minutes per section. Now, analytical writing. Now, analytical writing is basically like an essay writing, okay, where there would be a topic and you would have to write an essay about the topic. You would have to write two essays, an issue task and an argument task, but again, you will be given only 30 minutes each. And an experimental section. Guys, how many of you know what an experimental section is? How many of you are aware of an experimental section? What an experimental section is? Rohit knows, Vikalp knows. What about the others? Prasanna, Ashank. What about the others? <laughs> exactly. Well, guys, an experimental section is an unscored section. Correct. Okay, it's an unscored section. Now, it can be anything. It can be a verbal section. It can be a quant section. Okay, but it is an unscored section. Now, before writing your exam, you won't be able to know if it's an experimental section or not. Only once you write the exam, you'll be able to know. 
okay only once you write the exam you will be able to know so let's say for example you write the exam okay and you come across three verbal sections then you'll know it is one verbal was an experimental section it can be a verbal or a quant section uh no kishan it won't count for marks but the thing is you can't skip it also because unless you complete it you won't be able to know if it's an experimental section or not okay so are we clear guys shall we move forward yes it it can be quant or verbal it can be a math section or a verbal section it it can be a verbal section kiran yes exactly if we get three verbal sections then we can make sure we can be sure that one verbal section is an experimental section Okay. So are we all clear? Okay. Now the total marks of GRE is three hundred and forty. Okay. It's rated from two sixty to three forty. Okay. now your verbal is out of 170 quant is out of 170 and your analytical writing is rated out of 6 okay now you can ask is this 6 rated is uh, included in your total 340 well guys no your 6 is rated separately analytical writing score is rated separately okay but it it helps to a great extent in obtaining an admit okay now you can skip questions and answer later answer later within the time allotted in the section okay now in case you're writing the in case you're uh, you're writing the in case you're writing the exam and you stumble across one hard question one difficult question and you're you're spending a little more time then what you can do is you can just mark that question and move forward okay so that you can come back later and then answer it okay now the test is adaptive at section level so individual questions in a section are not adaptive all right guys Test is adaptive at section level. No, Sajal, there are no negative uh, marks in GRE. Okay, AWA is important, guys. AWA is as important as the other sections. All right. Are we clear, guys? So shall we move forward? Okay. Shashank, no, Shashank, you won't be able to switch switch sections in between. Okay, now this is your question types. These are the question types in the new GRE. Okay, now in the verbal section, you would get reading comprehension, text completion, and sentence equivalence questions. Okay, so reading comprehension, there would be a passage, and you would have to select the answer from the particular passage. Okay, now in text completion, again there would be uh, there would be a question, and you would have to there would be a set of options. You would have to select the right option which best fits. fits the answer vikalp is asking if ashish yadav is there uh, ashish vikalp has invited his friend ashish yadav all right so you have a gre group over here guys how many of you are attending with your friends vikalp is attending with his friend rohit kumar is also attending with his friends Uh, Mayuresh is attending. A uh, friend invited Mayuresh. Anna Malai is attending the webinar with ten of his friends. Okay, you have a pretty big GRE group, Anna Malai. Which where, which college are you are you from? The Kalp is from GTU. VIT. All right. Okay. 
so now let's get back um text completion you would have text completion and not only that sentence equivalence okay sentence equivalence again you would have sentence equivalence uh, again there would be a set of options and you would have to select the right sentence okay now in text completion you would have single blank double blank and triple blank okay now in your quant section you would have quantitative comparison questions all right where there would be a question and you would have to compare between options and then multiple choice questions where there would be multiple choice single answer where you have to select one answer choice then multiple choice questions there would be multiple answers where you would have to select one or more answers and then numeric entry questions where you just have to enter the numeric value okay these are the this is the basic structure question types in the new gre Okay, Narasimha, paper publications and presentations are very important. Okay, because see, uh, if you write a GRE, it's just fifty percent of your work. The rest fifty percent is your college academic achievements, SO, uh, LOP, LOR, and SOP. All right. Scholarships are both based on your GRE score and transcript. The GRE is very important for that. can we balance papers with internships yes narasimha you you will be able to do it uh, rohan uh, lor is a letter of recommendation it basically should be written by if you are in college by your teachers or your hod and sop is a statement of purpose it basically says it's a letter it's a, it's a it's a statement it's an essay which you should write okay on why exactly you want to do your masters in that particular college Yes, professional experience counts, Madhura. Are we clear, guys? All right, Abhishek. Uh, let me interrupt you for a second. Abhishek, I, I, I'd like to interrupt you for a second. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely, Mani. Uh, guys, uh, as I promised earlier, uh, we'll start with a small activity on Facebook page. Shall we? Shall we, guys? Shall we have a small activity? How many? How many of you are up for the GREH Millisecond Award? Are you ready? Gunjan is sure. Gunjan says, "Bring it on." All right. Guys, how many of you are familiar with GREH Millisecond Award? How many of you are familiar with it? No, not familiar. Says Gunjan. Pritam says no. Rohan says no. All right, guys. Uh, I won't hide the mystery. I'll tell you what GRE millisecond award is. Guys, all you have to do is uh, log into our Facebook page. I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link. All you have to do is log on to our Facebook page and answer the first question. That is that that has been posted on our Facebook page. All right. All right, guys. You have to answer the first question that appears on our Facebook page. I have already sent you a link. The first person to get the answer correctly will win the GRE millisecond award. All right, guys. Did you see the question, guys? Guys, did you see the question? I sent you a link, guys. You can log on to our Facebook page. All right, guys. I'll explain what the question is. 
refer the image below and answer the question. All right. Name the university in the photo frame hanging on the wall. Guys, you'll uh, you'll see a photo. You'll see an image that says, "I am attending. Join me." You have to identify the university that has been featured on the photo frame. The first person to answer it correctly will win the GRH millisecond award. I see. I see already a lot of responses. How about the rest of you guys? Which is the university featuring on the photo frame? All right, lot of responses I see already. Guys, have all of you answered? Have all of you answered? I'll give you thirty more seconds, guys. Thirty more seconds to answer. The first person to answer correctly will win GRH millisecond award. Guys, as the name suggests. you have to be quick you have to answer within a millisecond i have already given you a lot of time all right uh, shall we close guys shall we close shall we announce the winner guys do you want to know who the winner is ashwarya says harvard ramna says california <laughs> all right All right guys so time is up let me announce the winner i'm just getting the results in All right and today's GREH millisecond award winner is Sridharan Rajgopalan give a big round of applause for Sridharan Very well done, Sri Dharan. That was fantastic. The university featuring in the image on the photo frame is MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. That was very well done, Sri Dharan. Is that your dream university, Sri Dharan? May I ask? Is that the is that your dream university? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Sri Dharan says yes. He is his dream university. All right, very well done, Sri Dharan. Uh, now, since you have won, uh, since you have won the GRH millisecond award, uh, you get a special chance to talk to Abhishek directly. If you have your head, if you have your microphone ready with you, you we will give you audio access. You will be able to uh, talk to Abhishek directly. Are you ready with your uh, ready with your microphone, Sri Dharan? If you want to ask any doubt re regarding GRE, you can uh, go ahead and ask Abhishek. Uh, uh, once again, guys, uh, a, a small round of applause for Sri Dharan. He did a good job. So uh, he was the first person. Uh, Sri Dharan, do you have your microphone with you? Uh, Mayuresh is clapping for you, Sri Dharan. uh can you hear me sridharan can you hear me i have given you the audio control sridharan hello yes yes you uh, can, uh, can you, hear, you me? hear me sir yes yes i'm i can hear you ah, yes, how sir, are you clear, sir great sir how are you sir I i'm doing good so you can ask me a doubt sridharan uh, yes sir uh, i'm preparing for uh, i'm giving my jari in on september 16th sir Okay, and I'm having a hard time in remembering the words and their meanings, sir. Actually, like I'm not able to sit and mug the words. Okay. So, can okay. you suggest me any good uh, method or uh, material that I could follow, which could make me? Yes, definitely, Sri Dharan. Actually, easily. Make. Yes, definitely. Now you've already started your preparation, correct? You just have a you're having yes, a problem sir. in remembering words. Sri Dharan, what yes, I would suggest you to do the first thing is that you take a diagnostic test. Okay, you take a mock test first. 
take a mock GRE yes, test sir. so that you will be able to find out exactly what the problem is. Is it remembering words or apply, applying the words correctly? Yes. Okay. Sir. You first take a mock test so that you will be able to yes, identify exactly uh, what 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 uh, what the problem is, what the weaker area is, and then work accordingly. Because you uh, you have very short time, correct? You have you have very short time, so you need to learn all the words. How many learns yes, have sir. you? How many words have you learned so far? I managed to learn around three hundred, sir. Around three hundred. Okay, but for the GRE, you would need at Hello? least. Uh, but for the GRE, you would need to learn at least around three thousand, three thousand five hundred words. So what I'll suggest you to do is yes, you sir. you can first take up a diagnostic test. Sridhar and I'll tell you where exactly you can take the diagnostic test. I'll just ping you the link. I'll message you the link. Okay, you can just take yes, a sir. diagnostic test uh, over there in, in GRE Edge. and then uh, you will be able to know exactly where which part uh, you are facing a difficulty okay and i'll help you with yes. that you don't worry at all all right you don't worry at all we'll definitely help you with your with your yes sir. thank you sir all right sridhar so uh, once again congrats you did a very good job thank you so that was sridhar uh, he was planning to write his exam on the 16th and he wanted help with remembering words so i suggested him to take an online uh, an online mock test first so that he knows exactly where 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 he's going wrong anamale also faces the same problem and he wants to okay well guys i'll do one thing i'll i'll share the link at the end of the seminar i'll share the link for to everyone okay i'll share the uh, link to everyone so that you will also be able to take the test So are we all clear, guys? Are we all clear with um, with the how GRE works, the GRE pattern, and the importance of GRE? Now, how to prepare for GRE? How exactly to prepare for GRE? Now, before before preparing for GRE, there are a few things that you need to know. Okay. now getting a, now uh, how many of you are how many of you are confident in your quant section but oh this how many of you are confident enough of getting a 170 out of 170 in quant section how many of you are confident in getting a 170 out of 170 well the thing is guys the the the, the competition is very high especially in a country like india Okay, the competition is very high, so scoring a 170, at least scoring a 165, is very important. Okay, now the old old pattern you might have heard a lot of students scoring a full score in GRE. Okay, but that is in the old pattern. Okay, now the new pattern 170, it's much more intense. So scoring 170 out of 170 is very hard. Okay, so a lot of preparation, comprehensive preparation needs to take place. Okay, a lot of practice, time management. and preparation because the, the, the you you may be able to crack the quant questions but since gre is a time based test okay answering the questions within that particular uh, within that period is very is is very intense it's very challenging okay and uh, the, these are the frequently asked questions so that's why i'm just mentioning because uh, i got a lot of questions are there negative marks in gre well guys there are there is no negative marks in your gre exam okay there is no negative marks so you can attempt all the questions the more questions you attempt the better okay now uh, kirtan asked me is it important to learn all the 3500 words can i learn only 1000 words how many of you have the doubt in your mind is it important to learn sagar has okay well guys it is important i'll tell you why In GRE, okay, you don't. Uh, they won't ask you the meaning of the word. Okay, you don't have to buy hard all the three thousand five hundred words. Okay, and then you don't have to give the meaning of the word. But you would need the word. You need to identify the word in questions like sentence equivalence, text completion. Okay, that is why learning words is very important. Okay, learning words is very important. All right. The more you words you learn, the better. Ideally, around three thousand three three. If you learn around three thousand to three thousand five hundred words. You 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 can definitely uh, it'll be definitely uh, easy to crack the GRE verbal. Okay, guys, can everyone hear me? Priti seems to be having some trouble. Guys, can everyone hear me? Okay, all right. 
Now learning and completing your syllabus, learning all the topics, all the topics in your verbal, quant, everything, okay, it's only 50% of your total preparation. Can anyone tell me what is the other 50%? If you learn the complete GRE topic, the complete GRE syllabus, only 50% of your work is done. Can you tell me what is the other 50%? Exactly, Kostab says practice, correct. Giving mock test says Rohit. Avan Kumar, practice. Exactly, guys, real-time practice. Okay, learning is one thing. Real-time experience is the other thing because GRE is a time-based test, correct? It's a computer-adaptive time-based test. So you need to get used to the time-based test. You need to get used to the interface. So if you learn, if you learn and complete your learning, only 50% of work is done. All right? The, the rest 50% is your actual practice. Okay, now again a frequently asked question is Yari adaptive? Is it is it question wise adaptive? Is it uh, is, is it adaptive based on questions? Well, guys, no. Yari is adaptive at section level. It's not adaptive at question level. Okay, individual questions in a section are not adaptive. Your whole section would be would be adaptive. So in case your first section was very intense, the the following section would be not so intense. Okay, would be a bit more easier. Now again, a lot of doubts were there. Which admissions should should I apply? Uh, so, guys, university has basically two admission seasons. Okay, the fall and spring admissions. All right. Chachang, the admission season. So are we clear guys? Well Rohit, um, th there's not much difference Rohit. Each university they would have their own deadlines. So ideally you would have to uh, you would have to check the university website. Okay. Now fall admissions basically uh, around August, December. Okay. And spring admissions is... Uh, yes, definitely Rowan, I'll be clearing admission related doubts. Spring admissions uh, falls between January and April. Now you would have to select you would have to select the proper, you would have to go to the university website and check the deadlines. Gunjan wants a personal, uh, wants to talk to a counselor. Definitely Gunjan, I'll ask a counselor to give you a call right away. Alright? So guys, are we all clear? Shall we move forward? Okay, now how to prepare for the GRE? How to prepare for GRE? Guys, the first thing is that you should start preparing at least three to six months ahead of the test. Okay, now GRE has helped more than 12,000 students with their GRE preparation. Okay, and what we found out is that generally, ideally for, for complete comprehensive preparation, it takes around three to six months. Okay, if you can prepare for two hours a day, two to three hours a day, then it takes around three to six months. And then you also have to begin in areas that you are weak in. Guys, how many of you know how to find out the weaker area? How to find your weaker area? Exactly, a diagnostic test. Correct, you should take a mock test so that you will be able to understand exactly where you are weak in. And not only that, you also need to be well prepared in all the three sections, your verbal, quant and analytical writing. Okay. Don't ignore any topic or question type. Alright guys, you should be well aware in all the th all the sections. Okay? And not only that, now since GRE is an online adaptive exam, many students prefer online training. Can anyone tell me why? Why students prefer online training? Well, I'll give you an example. Guys, how many of you know swimming? How many of you know how to swim? 
Mayuri does not know. Rohit knows Pradeep, Rohan, Bhanu. Okay, so guys, if I give you a book, How to Learn Swimming in 30 Days. Okay, I give you a book. I ask you to read. Uh, I ask you to read the book for 30 days. And on the 31st day, I push you into a swimming pool. Tell me guys what will happen. In the 30th, 31st day, I, I push you into a swimming pool. Tell me what will happen. <laughs> Kunja knows what will happen. What about the others? <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's take another scenario. Okay. I take you into a baby pool. Okay. I come with you into a pool and I guide you how to swim. Not a book. I take you into a proper pool. For 30 days, I take you into a pool and I guide you. I, I help you with your uh, with swimming. Okay. Now, tell me the 31st day what will happen. That's the way, says Gunjan. Michael Phelps. <laughs> What about the others? What will happen? You will swim, says Rohit. Now, can anyone tell me why exactly, why, why, why this will happen? Why do you think that you will be able to swim properly? We will swim, says Swapnil. Champion at swimming. Application is important, says Sajal. Exactly, guys, practice is important. Real time experience is very important. Exactly. Practice makes perfect. Practice is required, says Sagar. Practice with the interface, says Pradeep. Correct. Because guys, if you if you get, as I said earlier, 50% of your work is just preparation and the other 50% is to practice. When you prepare online, okay, you get a real time experience of the exam. And you will also understand how an online adaptive test works. Okay, now because GRE is a time-based test, finishing all those questions within 30 minutes is a very important thing. It's, it's very hard. Okay, so that is why you also need to practice for time management. Correct, and not only that, you can also learn at your own convenience, anytime, anywhere. Okay, now these are the main benefits of learning online. Okay, now how many of you, how many of you would like to know how GRE Edge will help you with your GRE preparation? How to prepare with GRE Edge? How many of you would like to know that? Sahit was the first person to answer. Rohan, Ashutosh, Sajal, Mayuresh, Ronak, Shashank, Kostab, Pritam. What about the others, guys? How many of you would like to know what will help you to score more? Harak would like to know. Annamalai, Kiran. All right. Guys, in GRE Edge, as soon as you enroll, you would be assigned two trainers. Okay, One trainer will be for your verbal section and the other trainer will be for your quant section. As soon as you enroll, they would ask you to write a diagnostic test. Okay, So with the help of the diagnostic test, they would be able to understand exactly where your strengths and weaknesses Okay, You will be able to know exactly where your weaker areas are. Okay. You'll be also you'll also be able to know where you stand in terms of your preparation. Okay, you'll be able to compare where your target score is and where you stand currently. Okay, and they'll also give you an orientation call. Now, in the orientation call, uh, they'll identify exactly how much preparation you've done so far, what all materials you've used so far, how many hours you'll be able to prepare. All details like this. You will have to go through an orientation process. This will just be a 15-20 minute call. Okay? And with the help of the orientation questionnaire and also your diagnostic test, your verbal and quant trainer okay, will give you a personalized study plan. Now, the study plan will be designed based on your strengths and weakness. So let's say if you are weak at one particular area, they would give you a study plan focused on that. Okay? Now it's a systematic timetable, guys. Okay, it's a systematic timetable. It's based on the time left for your GRE exam. Okay. So let's say you have six months for your exam. So it's based on that. And it's also based on your strengths and weakness. Okay. Now how many of you are working professionals? How many of you are working? Shashank is working. Sajal, Pradeep, Kiran, Madhura. So, uh, okay, Kostab is an intern. All right. So for all of you who are working, you might come home late after a long meeting or after, after your office hours. Correct. Mitesh is working in TCS. Okay. So guys, your your trainers would design the study plan based on that. Okay, it is based on your preferred study time. 
Okay. Now all your study materials would be attached. All right. All your study materials would, would be attached. Comprehensive study materials. Your verbal, quant, and analytical writing. Okay. So you would have a number of lessons, sessions, and practice tests. So after each learning session, there would be a practice test. Okay. Now all you have to do is just use a username, password, login, and prepare. Okay. You just open up your laptop or your tablet computer, log into grs.com and prepare. You will get a number of live online seminars on academic subjects. Number of live online seminars like this. And not only that, you would also have post GRE online seminars. Online seminar based on your subject. Online seminars based on your uh, online seminar based on your on your university selection, on on funding options, on finance, on visa. Guys, I'll, I'll just share this, a very interesting fact. If you print all the GRE study materials, okay, the complete GRE study materials, it would be it, it would be as big as four big GRE books, all right. And you get you get all that in just a laptop. Just open up your laptop, log in, and prepare. All right. And only that, you'll also get full length computer adaptive tests, guys. Actual computer adaptive tests. So it's it's your GRE before your actual GRE. Okay, and you'll also get a number of feedback, a lot of feedback on your sessions. Okay, how many of you have heard about the GRH millisecond technology? How many of you have heard about the millisecond technology? Well, the software was rated as one of the soft, one of the top softwares developed in India by CII. Okay, now what the software does is it records each and every mouse click of yours in our website. It records each and every mouse click of yours. So your trainers would be able to know exactly what you're doing in the learning tracker, in the learning interface. Okay. So how many sessions you've taken? All right. They'll be able to know how many sessions you've taken, how many questions you've answered, how you're answering a question, how much time you're taking. With the help of all this, they will give you a personalized feedback. They'll give you a personalized feedback on a millisecond basis. All right. And with your performance, there comes a progress report. After after your performance, uh, after your performance in sessions, your trainers would send you progress reports. Now, the best part of the progress report is that, with the help of the progress report, okay, you can compare your scores with the scores achieved by students in your target range. All right, and not only that, they'll also show you if you're on track with your target score. Okay, so you can plan your GRE date according to that. And not only that, you can also assess your performance. Guys, tell me how many of you, how many of you feel that with this comprehensive preparation method, you will reach your target score? Tell me, guys. How many of you feel that Sagar says I will for sure? How many of you feel that you'll reach your target score with two trainers, complete feedback, materials? Definitely Shashank. Rohit is 100% confident. Sovig feels that way. Uh, Anamalai, definitely he can try. Uh, Gunjan would like a counselor. Definitely Gunjan. I'll ask a counselor to give you a call and they'll help you out. Sure it'll help, says Mitesh. Guys, how many of you would like a demo? How many of you would like a demo of the learning interface? Gurjan would like a demo. Yashwant wants a demo. Tejasvi would like a demo. <laughs> Sagar wants a demo. Definitely. Guys, this is your GRE's learning interface. Okay. All you have to do is just log in with your username, password, and this is the first thing which you would see. All right, the green color window. Now, in your home screen, there would be instructions. Getting started. Okay. Now, it's basically what exactly you have to do in the learning tracker. All right. So it'll show instructions. What all sessions? Where the sessions are? Where the practice test is? And how to boost your GRE score? Now, this is where your orientation question would be. Just click on orientation question here, and this is what you would see. Okay. Now there's just a uh, uh, there would be around 21 questions, okay. Now how long have you been preparing for the GRE? 
how have you prepared for GRE so far? Uh, have you prepared for the verbal section? Prepared for the quant section? A basic set of questions like these. Okay, this is a sample orientation questionnaire. So as soon as you enroll, you would have to fill in the questionnaire and submit, so that your trainers would get a copy of this. Are we clear, guys? Are we clear on how an orientation questionnaire looks? Okay. Now comes the study plan. How many of you? Uh, how many of you would like to see a sample study plan, guys? A study plan of an actual student. Pritam would like, Mitesh, Rohit, Sahit. Okay, well guys, this is Kavita's study plan. All right, this is the study plan given for Kavita. Now her study plan was was um, her study plan works uh, was divided into five phases. Okay, now phase one was basically vocabulary building. Okay, uh, her trainers felt that she had to build her vocabulary. So phase one was that that lasted for a month. Okay. Phase two was starting out with GRE verbal questions. So once the vocabulary was built, then it was GRE questions, basic GRE questions. Now her phase three was introduction of reading comprehension. Okay, and phase four was more practice, practice of GRE style test tests. And phase five was working on time management. Okay, now phase one in detail. Okay, I've I've given phase one in detail where Monday to Thursday. She was asked to build on a basic vocabulary. Thursday to Saturday, work on the basic GRH foundation level worksheets. Okay, so basically, guys, this is how your GRH study plan would be. Okay, this is how your GRH study plan would be. So all you have to do is just follow the study plan, guys. Okay, how many of you would like a study plan like this? <laughs> Pritam would like a study plan. Kostub. Savik. Okay. Now this is how your ask a doubt is. Okay. Now how many of you study in the middle of the night, guys? How many of you study in the middle of the night? All right. So when you come across a doubt, how exactly do you clear your doubts? Google, but you always get the correct answer in Google, guys. When you search, when I search, I get more than ten thousand results. I won't even know which is the correct answer or not. <laughs> I know, of course, the agrees. Well, guys, that is why we've developed a feature called the Ask It Out. Okay, so all you have to do is just click on Ask It Out, and a chat box would appear. All right, a chat box would appear. Just type in your doubts over here, and click on Submit, and your doubts will be directly forwarded to your trainer, and they will reply to your doubts. Okay, now you'll also get a solve doubts. So a solve doubts is basically like a inbox, your email inbox, where you, there would be a set of doubts which you've already asked. Okay, and your trainers might have already, all right, which you've already asked, and your trainers might have already answered. Okay, so if you want to refer that, you can just you can just click and you can refer your previous doubts. Okay, now this is your progress report. This is how your progress report looks like. All right. So in this progress report, you will be able to compare your scores with the scores with the with the performance of of others who have scored in your target range. Okay. So the blue over here is your score, and the red is the score the average score of students. The average score of students. The average score of students who have. Uh, Achieved your target score, the average performance. So here, the student is actually performing more than the student, the average score. Okay, so he can actually aim for a higher target score. All right, so that is how you have to interpret your progress report. Okay, so you'll also be able to see what all sessions you've completed, how many sessions you have yet to be completed. Okay, and if you're in track with your GRE preparation. Okay. Now, uh, Nitin Haridas, he used the same preparation method. He used he used a similar study plan and excelled in his GRE. He scored a total score of three hundred and thirty-four out of three forty. Okay, Nitin Haridas, he's a working professional. He's from Maharashtra. He scored a total GRE score of three thirty-four. Chaitanya got a total GRE score of three hundred and twenty-four. Okay, he's from Bitspilani, Goa campus. Siddhanta got a total GRE score of three hundred and thirty, guys. He again, uh, he's from VIT Vellore. Okay, he scored a total GRE score of three hundred and thirty. All right. 
And these are the two few toppers from GREH. Just a few toppers from GREH. Anand Kumar got a total GRE score of 325 out of 340. Anusha got a total GRE score of 328. Neha got a total GRE score of 333. Okay. Guys, GREH has helped more than more than 220 students to score 320 plus. Alright. How many of you would like to see your names over here? Or how many of you would like to listen to their GRE experience, guys? Shashank would like to see. How many of you would like to listen to what GRE toppers had to say? All right, so guys, I'll just send you a link. Okay, I'll send you a link where you will be you will directly be able to, okay, where you will directly be able to listen to the GRE toppers. All right. All right. Sovik is interested in web designing. Okay. So, guys, how many of you would like GREH to help you with your GRE preparation? All right. Let me give you the mic from you. Uh, yes, Mani, definitely. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, uh, we are coming to the end of the seminar. Uh, but before before we go, uh, I'd like to announce us. Uh, we have a small uh, surprise offer for you. Uh, we have a 35 percent off uh, of on GREH's complete GRE program. Guys, uh, let me tell you a small story. Uh, last year, more than 4,000 students prepared with us. Out of them, more than 1,000 students have flown to the U.S. All right. Uh, for their MS, uh, MS in US uh, for in different streams, uh, GREH has helped more than thousand students uh, for applying for their MS last year, and we are expecting more than thousand students again to fly to the fly to US this year. So uh, to ensure your boarding pass for MS in US, uh, we we are offering you a thirty five percent off on complete GRE program. All right. So guys, how many of you would like GREH? to help you with your GRE preparation. Guys, how many of you would like GRE to help you with your GRE preparation? Gunjan says, I want. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Would you like GRE to help you with your GRE preparation? Yes, definitely. Yes, but I need the help of an expert to choose a program. Maybe later. No, I will prepare on my own. I have already joined GRE Edge. Which of the options suits you guys? Sovik says looks compelling. Saga says needs need an expert. Anomaly says hundred percent sure. All right, that's really good. Swapnil says, I need an expert too. All right. All right, guys, I see 57% of you have voted. What about the rest of you? All right, still 66% have voted. How about the rest of you guys? Guys, I, I want all of you to answer the question, answer the poll question. And guys, uh, let me let me announce there, there's, there's a surprise for you. There's a surprise contest, surprise award for you waiting after this poll. So I, I want all of you to answer this poll question. All right, guys. Uh, we'll be conducting GRE Academy Award soon. But before we do, uh, it's in your hands to choose the prize. 
if you were the winner of today's GRE Edge Academy Award, which option would you choose? GRE book of your choice, Flipkart voucher worth rupees 500, pizza meal for you, your family and friends. Which one would you choose guys? GRE book of your choice, Flipkart voucher worth rupees 500, pizza meal for you, your family and friends. If you were the winner of today's GREH Academy Award, which one would you choose? Pradeep says first one. Weber says first one. All right. How about the rest of you guys? Sahit says one and two. No, Sahit, we cannot give you two prizes. Mitesh wants one. All right, Sahit has now negotiated. Sahit says one. How about the rest of you guys? I would definitely go for a pizza meal with my family and friends. Wouldn't you like, guys? Rohan says three, three, three. Rohan has already his eyes on the pizza meal. All right, guys, uh, without much ado, let's go to the GREH Academy Award. All right, here's the results for, for the poll. 62% of you have opted for a GRE book of your choice. 29% of you have opted for Flipkart voucher worth rupees 500, and 9% of you have gone for pizza meal with family and friends. All right. So, guys, uh, the uh, the prize the prize is now decided. Uh, the winner will get a GRE book of his choice, his or her choice. And and yes guys there's only one winner the winner will get a GRE book of his or her choice okay guys let's now start the main event of GRE of uh, of today's uh, online seminar it's time for GRE Edge Academy Award guys how many of you would like to win the GRE Edge Academy Award you can win a G GRE book of your choice. How many of you would like to win? All right, all 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 are want all 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 are willing to win. All of you want to win. All right. Okay guys, so now is your chance to win the GRE Edge Academy Award. Guys, all you have to do is, I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link right now. I've already sent you a link. You can click on the link. I've sent you a picture, the link of a picture. You can click on the picture. You can see the picture. You'll see a man sitting uh, near the table. Guys, did you get the picture? Did you did you get the link? Did you get the link? Guys, I've sent you a link. Did you get the link? All right. You see you see a man stand you see a man sitting uh, near the table. All you have to do is guess what is written on the back of his t-shirt. And post your and post your post your guesses on the on the link that I provided. All right, you can uh, you can share your uh, guesses on the post that I provide on the link that I provided. You can click on the link, open the link 
guess what is written on the t-shirt on the t-shirt of that man post your guesses on that link guys and just in case if you are wondering how how the winner will be awarded all you have to do is you you have to ask your friends to like your comment the person with the most number of likes will win the GRE Edge Academy award the person with the most number of likes will win the GRE Edge Academy award guys what is written on the back of of that guy's t-shirt all right well, all right guys while while you guess what is written on the back of his t-shirt you can post in your doubts and abhishek will answer your doubts if you are done if you are done uh, guessing what is written on the back of his t-shirt you can post in your doubts whatever doubts you have you can post uh, them and abhishek will try to answer them uh, money will i also be able to participate peter looks very tempting no abhishek, <laughs> abhishek i'm very sorry this is for the student okay all right uh, when i say i can speak fluently in english as much as possible and i have given seminars in a number of colleges can my preparation take less time or more well when i it completely depends on what your current preparation level is okay because speaking and listening it does, it's not their part of the, it's not part of the gre exam okay so it completely depends on on how many hours you will be able to prepare and where you stand in terms of preparation right now uh yes santosh all universities are well at least most of the universities have two admission seasons shashank uh, a working professional can get your letter of recommendation from a manager from your team leader okay from your manager or your team leader or if you want you can get it from your college also Aditya scored 308 out of 340 in the diagnostic test how do i improve my verbal well aditya i would suggest you to follow your train your sfa study plan okay uh, the study plan is based on your weakness and if if the verbal section is your weaker area then definitely uh, you just have to follow your study plan rohit is asking if um, what is the difference between scholarship and assistantship all right well uh, rohit a scholarship is is uh, you would get uh, 30% or 40% of of uh, uh, a, a deduction in your fees and assistantship is basically you assist your teacher or your or your trainer or your professor all right so you can assist your trainer you can assist your teacher and then you can uh, you'll be paid for it rohan a lot of documents are required you would need your academic achievements your college percentage your uh, you would need three letter of recommendations a statement of purpose and your gre transcript before applying guys you can type in your doubts uh, one, second. Uh, one second abhishek uh, yes definitely money yeah guys, yeah, guys the let me remind you once again uh, I see a lot of you have already posted uh, all of you posted what is written on the back of the guy's t-shirt but uh, you have to get likes for your comment the most number of likes will win today's GRE Edge Academy award all right guys you can ask your friends to like your comment all right you can uh, you can even like your you can you can like your own comment it's just a hint all right uh the, all right so guys you can type in your doubts all of you can type in your doubts okay let's have an open question and answer session well pradeep you would have your experimental section okay that would be a proper experimental section okay but you want to know what it is Balkrishna wants the diagnostic test link definitely Balkrishna guys I'll just send you the GREH link again all you have to do is just log in and you can take a diagnostic test okay uh, Sravan Kumar also would like to have it guys I'll send it now 
Shashank wants to know the various funding options so that he does not have to spend his daddy's money. Well, Shashank, scholarship is one option. Assistantships are there. You can do part-time jobs. A lot of funding options are available. Okay, uh, but for scholarships, you would have to apply early because scholarship deadlines close early. No, Yashwant, your experimental section score will not be counted. It's an unscored section. Okay. Gunjan, uh, basically your academic achievements and your GRE score. That is the, 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 the those are the main criteria. Well, Rohan, I would suggest you to uh, start preparing now itself. Okay, I would suggest you to start preparing now itself for your GRE. Well, Rahul, it's basically for research purpose. <laughs> I, I, I was just checking the Facebook and one comment was, I love MS, I hope it loves me back. That, that's a very interesting comment, Vani. Guys, you can type in your doubts. All right. I would like everyone to type in your doubts. Uh, yes. Well, academic achievements is not only your college percentage, Gunjan. It also is your internships, the paper presentations you, which you've done, the publications which you've done. Yes, Yashwant, only after the test you will be able to know. Well, Deepthi, if you don't have publications, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay? It's not a mandatory requirement, all right? But you would need to work on your GRE because ultimately GRE is the most important criteria. Okay, if you have paper publications, it will be an advantage. Okay? Yes, definitely Rahul, work experience helps, but if, you, if you're going for an MBA program, then work experience, it does help. Well, Aditya, um, you would have to check the university website itself, Aditya. That is the best way to to find out. Okay, because scholarship deadlines, it depends on universities. So, you, I, ideally, I would suggest you to go to the university website, all right? I would suggest you to go to the university website and find it out. Well, Rohan transcript is basically your mark sheet, your university, your college mark sheet. Um, not it doesn't uh, it doesn't help to that extent, but yes, it does help. Well, so week, a lot of factors are involved, so like uh, you would have to check the rating, you would have to check the university rating, you do a faculty profile, you check the course and uh, if, if everything falls into place, then it will be, you can select the university. We will have a, we will have future online seminars based on that, I will send you an invitation for that. Uh, Alright, Abhishek, I am very excited to announce a winner now. Uh, yes, definitely, Mani, when I am excited. All right, guys. Guys, are you all done posting your uh, guesses? What's written on the back of your T-shirt? Rohan is done. How about the rest of you guys? I see a lot of responses already. Guys, let me just announce: Neha is leading the pack. How about the rest of you guys? Have you all asked your friends to like your comments? Rohit has done already. How about the rest of you guys? All right, guys. I, I'll, let's wrap up. 
time is already up. Shall we announce the winner, guys? Are you ready? Said is ready. How about the uh, how about the others, guys? All right. Without much ado, I'll I'll announce the winner. Today's GREH Academy Award winner is who? That's interesting. Says Anamalai. All right. Today's GREH Academy Award winner is. Neha Jalhotra, give a big round of applause for Neha. Very well done, Neha. That was really, that was really fantastic. Neha says, "I I love GREH." That is written on the back of that guy's T-shirt. Neha has got four likes. That is exceptional. All right, Neha. Very well done. You can claim your. Uh, we will ask a senior expert to give you a call. You can you can claim your uh, prize. You can ask them and claim your prize. All right. All right, guys. So guys, Neha, Neha is getting Neha is getting a favorite book of her choice, favorite GRE book of her choice. But rest of all, don't get disheartened. There is a 35 percent off on complete GRE program. All right. There is a 35 percent off on complete GRE program. You can claim your 35 percent off. We'll ask a senior expert to give you a call. You can claim your 35 percent off. So that's a, that that was a very interesting competition, uh, Mani. Uh, Neha was was the winner. So once again, a small round of applause for Neha. And guys, a uh, small round of applause for everyone for participating. It was a very interactive session. I hope that this online seminar was very helpful and all of you got all your doubts cleared. Guys, I am extremely sorry in case I missed any doubts, but don't worry. I won't let your doubts go unanswered. All right? I'll definitely reply to all the doubts. In case you have any doubt, what you can do is you can just shoot an email to info at jrh.com or you can type to the Facebook page. You can just comment it as the post and I'll reply to your doubts. And also you can uh, you can get the webinar recordings. How many of you would like the seminar recording? Would like a, a recorded version? Okay, Sagar wants. Navid wants anomaly. Cycle. Navid wants anomaly. Cycle. What about the others? How many of you would like a video recording of today's online seminar? All right. So guys, for all of you who have attended, I'll send you the recording. Also, all the all the doubts which have which have gone unanswered, I'll be replying to your doubts also. Okay. Uh, for all of you who would like help with your GRE preparation, all you have to do is just give a call to nine eight eight four four five three two seven six. I've shared the number. You can just give a call and request for a counselor or I'll also ask a counselor to give you a call or if you have any doubts just reply to just send a mail to info at grh.com and um, I'll clear your doubts all right once again guys all the best for your GRE preparation I wish you all a very good night and I'll see you next week